Okay, well, we are at uh, Davin's Watch, and uh, as you can see, this is the crafting station for this particular place. Uh, wood's right behind me there, over there's clothes, and blacksmith is here. To start off with the blacksmith, as Hello. you can see, everyone's gathered around here. Go to an anvil, go to eat, yeah, press E. As you see, I have uh, already some ore and all that stuff already. Uh, this is under the refine tab. This will show up having all that. You need at least 10 to refine anything. As you can see, minimum of 10 needed. Uh, over here, creation. As you can see, I have a lot of different crafting styles, except for Ancient Elf, Barbaric, Primal, Daedric. I don't have those. But I do have Imperial, which my character is. Uh, you also have uh, two sub-tabs here uh, for weapons and armor. And sliders, you know, for usual weapons. Uh, I don't have any iron or steel right now. So it's, uh, this one's iron, this one's steel, you know, like orc, uh, dwarf, uh, dwarf, which I have, ebony I've been collecting, which I still need to refine to get that stuff. But there's also calcium, that's also something. You cannot do anything with the, well, you can't use anything made of that until you're a uh, veteran rank one. And uh, same thing with this, veteran rank four, you can't use any weapons like that, weapons or armor, so you're veteran rank seven, nine, and it just goes all up, just goes up to void steel. That's uh, that's the material that you need. Down here is the style tab, as I kind of already explained before. This weapon selection, um, material selection, style tab, traits. With the traits, you don't start off with any traits. I mean, you, they all start off as red, as you can see from here. I mean, I have the stones. But I don't have any of those traits unlocked. See, it's just research to unlock for all of them. If I go to sword, I have at least this, the, the, the ruby. And I can make it so that I have a level 40 sword with increased weapon and spell critical values by 2%. Just because just cause I have that. This is the deconstruct tab. I'm not going to deconstruct anything because uh, I still need some of this stuff for the uh, research tab. That's why I'm still holding this stuff. And let's see. Over here is the upgrade tabs. As you can see, I don't have any honing stones, but I do have Dwemer oil. If you have uh, honing stones, you need at least, what, four of them to get to 90% or like 100%. Depending on what your level is, because as you can see, mine is at 16 right now. Depends on how much you're going to need, like how many skill uh, perk points you've put into the skill tree. Uh, that's why I only need four to get 100%. I need three to get to 90%. With here, I need maybe four or five to get to 100%. Uh, grain solution, I don't know where you get that. I honestly don't because I've never stumbled across it. I've never found it. And anything I've broken down that is e epic, I can't seem to get. Uh, legendary is uh, tempering alloy. Again, that's another thing. I don't know how to get. I think I might have got some with the blacksmith's uh, helper perk or whatever it is, where you get some kind of uh, mail that has an attachment to it, and inside the attachment is a bunch of blacksmith material. Again, it also has the uh, weapons and armor selection there. Same thing with here for the deconstruct. Research is the same. As you can see, I have two things currently researching right now. This one has, the sword right now, has uh, 8 hours, 1 minute, and 36 seconds as of this video. And I'm researching uh, increased toll armor and spell resistance. You know, so. And I also have uh, increased weapon enchantment effect as another thing I can research. And same thing with the armors. This one's got 16 hours left to it. And I'm re currently researching uh, increased resistance to critical stats. 
I can research after that. Uh, infused, which is increase this item's armor and enchantment effect. I can also do training, which also increases the the uh, skill line for that particular armor. Same thing with exploration, that gave, I'll gain its additional experience for the exploration. Having these unlocked will allow you to, um, to uh, gen in general, uh, go to some kind of crafting station that's not in a major city. They do have ones that have like certain sets, set abilities or whatever, which uh, boosts certain specific stats. As you can see, I also have uh, this one, uh, which is the, yeah, I'm not gonna try. But I have, have at least these two. I mean, if I try researching one of these, it will take me one day, 21 hours. This one will take me 22 hours. So you see, the more you have unlocked, the longer the research time. So you can tell from this, which I have, what, four, and this one will be five. When I'm done with that, it'll be six. The, lo the more you have unlocked, the longer it takes to research. That's something you have to remember. But it be becomes something like this. It's cost over game. Will researching this item give you more experience than just deconstructing it? A lot of times that is going to be yes. But deconstructing, depending, say, say I deconstructed this, I won't get very much XP for it. But if I deconstruct this, I'll get uh, even more XP for it because I'm deconstructing something that is already upgraded. Something that, the higher the upgrade, the more experience you get for it. But researching itself also causes you to gain experience. And uh, when you use a trait, you gain additional experience for adding that trait to that piece of armor. Uh, this itself will give me more than anything that's green. Anything that's blue gives you more than anything that's green, like uh, so on and so forth. Say like uh, something's purple, it'll give you more. Something's uh, legendary, it'll give you even more. Things, things like that. So let's try uh, making that sword, that level 40 sword right now. As you can see, it succeeded. Now I have that level 40 sword. And it's now in my inventory. I had uh, its uh, damage is 76. It's uh, got a level of 40 and a value of 32. Unfortunately, that does not beat out the sword I have currently in my uh, inventory. Well, at least equipped it because that has a damage of 39. It's, it's level 30. Well, actually 79, level 39, and it's uh, got a value of 54. That is because it's upgraded. Also, it is enchanted and, ha and it deals the uh, 23 poison damage. The difference between these is uh, the increased weapons and spell critical values, which ha which are on both weapons. The one I gained from questing, that one has a 4% value. The one I just made is a 2% value. But I can add an enchantment to it. To absorb health and now it's got the uh, deals 15 magic damage uh, and recovers seven stamina yeah so I can actually use this as a dragon knight to steal stamina and cause magical damage to my opponent which will be 15 damage added to the 76 I already have which makes that sword a lot better than the one I have currently added to myself except it's not <laughs> because the poison damage itself is a lot higher when the enchantment on this runs out that is when it will be lower I'm gonna cut this video right here Whoa. and I will pick it up at one of the uh, work outside city work stations I'll see you there Okay, well, we are coming up to one of these uh, workstations just outside Devin's Watch. I'll actually show it on the map for you guys. If I can bring up the map. See, here's Devin's Watch. It's just over here. Uh, this icon, which is the flame with the uh, hammer and whatever, usually will indicate one of these. It's not always true but a lot of the times you will find them like that. 
And in here, you will find crafting stations. But the one that we want is right here. This will allow you to craft these. They are set weapons and set apparel. With the set weapons and set apparel, they come with the, with uh, perks. See, like this, it's uh, Night's Silence. While hidden, increase health regeneration by 40%. And that's with uh, three items on. If I want to, I can actually create these. Let's see if I have enough to create one set. Uh, let's go with the Nordic set. Nah. Dark Elf, Orc. Now let's go with Red Guard. Well, let's see what the Red Guard one looks like. Remember, anything that's on an anvil will automatically be heavy armor. To get these, you actually have to have two traits unlocked for these. So this is where um, where uh, traits come in handy. See how uh, only the Sword of Night Silence is the only thing that's unlocked here? It's because that's the only thing I've actually unlocked traits on. So let's create a level 40 uh, outfit for this. And we'll throw in... a. 22% uh, avoid decay while defend yeah. defeated. Craft that. Oh, well, I guess I'm completely out of uh, dwarven ingots now. Uh, yeah. That's something I was not paying attention to. So, let's get these as high as we can, which is not going to be good, but at least we can see what our stats are. See how uh, Defender's Breastplate is still higher than the one I have now? But, if I wear that, it will actually change the look of the armor I have on. As you can see, it looks a lot nicer. It looks a lot cleaner. And... Let's put the other one back on. So you see, kind of looks uh, used, worn, and all that stuff. So now we have our first, uh, first of the three set items that we can have of the Knight's Silence. This comes in handy in the end because uh, the health regeneration. If you're wearing three pieces of it, you get health regeneration. Right now, it says I'm wearing zero of three items of the Knights of Night. The, the yeah, the Night Silence. Let's see what the weapon does. While hidden, re increase health regeneration by forty percent. This on the weapon itself is added to the actual traits. This weapon is thought up as, uh, well, in general, it is like the armor. If you're wearing any three parts, even the weapon or a shield, it will, be, it will be counted towards that. But as you see, even at 34, it is not high enough to beat out any sword I have currently. which means I actually need to have more stuff anyway. But it doesn't matter because I have that item now. If I wanted to, I could sell it to anyone that wanted it for whatever price I want. And I can get it because uh, blacksmithing with these kind of things will bring in money. I mean, seriously. They have perks, they have things like that. Uh, I want to see if I can find any ingots. If you saw that uh, piece of wood glowing, that is because I have a perk that allows me to see them from up to, what, 20, 30 meters away? Yeah. I'm just going to cut the video here because it's kind of pointless to see me run around. Yeah, as you can hear, somebody's already pickaxing some piece of uh, metal, which I didn't see. 
I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and see you soon. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention during my tutorials that sometimes you can find actual uh, items like this on some people. Uh, this actually isn't any better than what I have, although if I did wear three of them I would get extra stamina bonus, but I don't, so I'll leave it.